you manage MATLAB App Designer apps in a source control system, then you need to handle changes made by different people. I'm Tar Sano, User Experience Specialist at the MathWorks. Let's see how you can do this using the MATLAB Comparison Tool. We'll start with a really simple example. Go into Source Control, take the latest version of an App Designer app that I've been working on, and I load it right into App Designer. All right, I'll run the app. And we can see that it first loads a picture, like those peppers, and it shows some histograms with the levels of colors in the picture. Inside the app, I can change the picture, and the histograms update to show the colors for that. That's basically what the app does. All right, let's do some work. I'll put in a new toolbar control, and I want it to just clear out the picture when I press it. So I'll put some code into the callback. All right, paste the lines there. Good. All right, so I'll run the app. All right, and when the app starts up, there's the new toolbar button I added right in the upper left corner. Now when I press the button, you should see the picture clear out as well as the histogram. There it goes. All right. Now I go into source control to commit the changes locally. All right. I'll put in a comment that what I change. All right, now I want to push it to the remote repository, but first I've got to pull in the latest version. All right, when I do that, I can see that there's a conflict with somebody else's work in the same file. I need to resolve the differences. All right, so now I'll go and I'll choose to view conflicts. There we go, and this will launch the MATLAB comparison tool with my file and my colleague's file. When it loads up in comparison mode, I can see where the files are different. The left side is my colleague's code and the right side is mine. You can see that the purple highlights are showing differences in those lines of code. And the light blue shows that there's new code that's not in the other file. Okay, I'm not concerned about those at the top. That's when I added the new control. Uh, right here, it looks like she modified the startup function. That's probably where the conflict is, but let's check out the rest. Down here is the callback I entered, and there's the toolbar itself. All right, I added those things. It's on my side. That's fine. There's no other changes below, so let's go back to that startup function. All right, looks like she's loading up a new image file at startup. Hmm. Remember the peppers image I used? I wonder what picture she's loading at startup. All right, I'll take that change, and I'll select the merge button here. Merging app designer code is new in release 2020B. All right, I can see the change has been merged. I select Accept and Close to save the merged file. Then I go to View and Commit Changes. Here we go. All right, I'll add in a comment. And I'll push it. There we go. All right, I'll open the resulting file in App Designer. Let's see our combined work. There's the toolbar button I added, that's great. Take a look at the callback. There's my code, good. Let's go to the startup function that my colleague changed. All right, there it is. Hmm. Still wonder what that picture is. All right, we'll see it soon. Looks like both of our changes are here. Now I'll go and run the code. Ah, cool, there's the new picture on startup. Hmm. I like my peppers better. And my toolbar button is there, it works. Cool. All right, looks like our work on this App Designer app has been merged. Of course, this is a really, really simple example, but it'll work the same way for your code. To recap and release 2020B, the MATLAB comparison tool now lets you merge changes in App Designer code. Well, if you want. Some people prefer peppers. For more information, follow the links in the description.